International Day for Education, which is a human rights marks a global celebration to shed more light on the vital role of learning in the society. Education cannot be overemphasized as its benefits of enlightenment are long term in the life of an individual in many spheres of life. For this importance, our correspondents Okoyemi and Rigode met with some education experts who shed more light on the access of education and its relevance in the society today. Education is a human right, a public good and a public responsibility. The United Nations General Assembly proclaimed 24th January as International Day of Education in celebration of the role of education for peace and development. Education is a totality of uh, life processes or experiences. And not only that, we can equally say education, you know, starts from birth till death. Education can be described as a process of teaching, training, and learning. Education is a broad term. It's a section of the society which it can say comprises of the primary school, the secondary school, and tertiary institution. International Day of Education, also marked as Education Day, is celebrated globally to shed light on the vital role of education. This day is envisioned to promote gender equality, inclusivity, and poverty eradication through quality education and democratic participation. This year's theme is education is a human right. Some of the significance of education is that when you are educated, you discover that uh, the issue of uh, inferiority complex will totally be off. Because somebody that is educated, you know, will be bold to be in any way and speak. And uh, not only that, you discover that education also you know, brings a sort of a career opportunity. Somebody that is well educated, we even have a better chance of opportunities. You have that opportunity of good job, opportunities to meet with your mates, opportunities to be a better person in the community. Education aids communication skills. What do I mean by skills? When you are educated, you are able to speak, you can listen, you are able to write, and at the same time you can read. Without inclusive and equitable quality education and lifelong opportunities for all, countries will not succeed in achieving gender equality and breaking a cycle of poverty that is leaving millions of children youth and adults behind. So you can see that uh, some of the consequences also you discover that even this issue of uh, uh, education, it improves knowledge. But the situation whereby you are not educated, your knowledge will be limited to the little ones that you are able to know. Uneducated individual will cause unemployment. Since he's not educated, there's no much opportunity open to such an individual, except he's going to do some manual jobs. We should, you know, allow our children to be educated. That of the one that we acquire from our parents at home, you know, it is not enough compared to the one that uh, we have in the conventional you know, school like this. Those ones that are educated, again, the government should try to encourage them. How? let them be employed. If they are not employed, those ones that are not going to school, that are not educated, we said, what is the importance of education? That we that have not been educated, we are both sitting down at home with the ones that have been educated. Research by UNESCO suggests an estimated 258 million children are not in school. Ensuring that education opportunities are accessible across the world can help lift people out of poverty set them up for a promising future and give them access to employment opportunities. Education is a powerful tool to ensure that every child can be equipped with the skills they need to survive in this economy. 
Arigede Okoyemi reporting for Captain Television News.